three cops. Where are they going? Oh, you guys, let's go see. Oh my God, I think there's a fire in there, you guys. Yes, let's just do it. Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates. I'm here outside the Fountain Valley Skating Center in Fountain Valley, California to talk to you about curbs, skating over curbs and negotiating curbs because it's something you have to do every single time you skate outdoors. Today's video is brought to you by Wicked Skatewear. They are here in Huntington Beach, California. They have a brick and mortar store and they're also online at wickedskatewear.com and tell Cat and you tell Strict9 I sent you and I promise they will take great care of you. Also, today's video is sponsored by S1 Helmets. Dan at S1 Helmets is the man. Can help you get the best helmet. This is the S1 Lifer, which has been my go-to helmet ever since I skated roller derby. So, really good fit, good price, all that jazz. All right, skaters. So, let's get on with today's video. Um, we got a little action going on here. We got police cars. We got firemen. You know, just lots of going on but I gotta make this video right I mean I, I just gotta let the cop go by so anyway curbs yeah yeah curbs okay so let's talk about how to get up and down them if you're just a beginner skater and you don't want to go flying off the curb let's go right over here here's the curb if you want to get up the curb, do not do this. That gets you super off balanced right away. So whenever you see a curb and you need to go from this position to this position, hit it horizontally or parallel. You're gonna drop your hips, chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, arms out. I want you to put weight on the outside leg, lift the inside leg closest to the curb with your hip. Lift it up, place it down. Transfer your body weight over to this foot and lift. Now you got both feet firmly up on the upside of this curb. If you want to go down, same thing. Get real close. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area. Hips down or fun zone down. Arms out, okay? Now I bend both knees. I put the weight on the foot farthest from the curb. I lift with my hip, step out. I need to give myself enough room for the other foot to meet or to fit, okay? So we're like this. Most people, they see the curb and they don't want to get close to it so they reach out. Now you're in a position where your body weight is somewhere in the middle and it's real hard to negotiate this. It's real hard to push the weight over and you're going to end up doing this thing. So get close to the curb, even rest this foot right up against it. Drop your body weight down, put your weight on the outside. Lift with the hip, step over. Transfer body weight, lift with the hip and over. You can do this while skating. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna skate forward. Lift and up. <laughs> All right. Let me show you how it looks when we go down too. <laughs> skate forward. Lift and up and down. And up. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it again so it actually looks like I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm struggling a bit. And down and up, down, reach. Okay. Skaters, we tend to want to do things slow when we're afraid. I need you to keep your speed up when you negotiate curbs. Keep your speed up. If you do it too slow, it becomes something that's really, really scary, and you actually need the momentum. So, again, checklist chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks tight arms out, lower your fun zone, put the weight opposite the direction you're going. Lift with your hip, step over, transfer the body weight, lift with the hip and over. One more time. Alrighty, so here we go. And I lift and skate and lift and skate. Alrighty. Okay, so now what happens if you're skating along and all of a sudden, curb! It just shouts at you and you're like, oh my God, there's a curb! And you're gonna have to go off it. What I need you to do is have a little bit of faith, put your feet in a staggered stance, bend your knees and let the curb do the work. You don't have to jump up, okay? You're just gonna go up and over. Let's go over here and I'll show you how. So this is like a little curvy walkway and then there is a curb. You can see the curb because it's a big, big red curb. 
All right, so I'm gonna skate forward. I'm gonna put my feet in a staggered stance up and down. I didn't jump real high. I just wanted to make sure that my body weight lifted up a little bit and I was already in a staggered stance because that's how I wanna land. Let me go show you again. Feet are in a staggered stance. Weight is on the back foot. And now, I put my arms out real straight because I want to look crazy. No, put my arms out straight because I don't want to die. Put my arms out straight to keep balance, to keep my shoulders straight across. Next time, it's down like that. So, I got friends here and I'm going to have them come down. And you see it a little bit more exciting than what I do. Okay, let me go grab them. All right, skaters, this is Tati. She's never jumped this curb or flown off it, so I'm going to show her how to do it real quick. All right, let's go, girl. Again, just hold on. A little bit of lift in the hip, arms out to your sides. There you go. Hey! So see, skaters, it's actually not that hard. You have to have faith more than anything. Keep those arms out, staggered stance, and as you go over, don't jump. Unless you want to get a bunch of air, if you just want to get off the curb safely, put your feet in a staggered stance and lift a little bit with the fun zone. Just lift that up just a little bit, your hips up a little bit, but keep all of this nice and straight and you're going to come off that curb nice and easy. So don't be afraid of curbs, just practice them a lot, skaters, okay? Alrighty, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for, again, watching this channel, for subscribing, for sharing. Hit the like button. That really helps helps me get the information out to a lot more people. Alrighty skaters, I'll see you next time. Go practice.